Great to have you with us. We are set to get you over the hump this Wednesday night with another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Ali LaForce, on the sidelines. Yeah, that one was a nail-biter. Came down to the wire in overtime, and these guys just rose to the occasion. Now the starting group for the visitors. And it's Lee in at the two-guard. Count the basket. And grab these teams both stacked in the front court. Stacked indeed, B.A. The versatility demanded in today's game, revolutionizing those positions. Now, it's not enough to just control the paint. You've got to do more. Barton shot off the mark. Lee on the wing. From the arc. Drops in the three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pass to Matthews. Here's Carter. And it's Lee with the rebound. Launches a three. Rebound by the Nuggets. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Barton outside. Six on the shot clock. Nice move. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. Here's Lee. He's guarded by Barton. Three-pointer. Lee misses. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Matthews. To the middle. Picked it out of midair. Here's Lee. The three is up. Carries it. He's two for four in this game. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Carter, the pass to Gordon. And here's Carter. Down low. Five to shoot. Now here's Gordon. He's closely guarded. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Oh, this has been a really nice stretch for them. Yeah, they really are taking advantage of these opportunities that are given. Pass to Speedy. Let's a three fly. Fires in the triple. Five points in the game. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Denver calls timeout. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Well, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Pass to Jokic. The ball's knocked loose. Now here's Barton. Can they get it? That won't go for him. Now 0 for 2. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. 
it's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups. So maybe just a step too far. And there's the lob. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. Yeah, it was just a little late. I mean, he thought he got there, but the ref saw it otherwise. Pass to Matthews. Barton outside. the drive <laughs> just brutal I mean five straight misses to begin the game that shot no good pass to Lee here's Nash jacks up a three and that's good his first bucket of the game their ball movement on this run has been tremendous it's led to a lot of good clean open looks now a timeout called by Denver. Well, the players still trying to find their rhythm out there early in the season. Brent, when did you feel like you were at full speed? Well, B.A., I always came into training camp in pretty good shape. So opening night, I felt ready to go. Uh, that's not always the case with every team. And usually teams that, that struggle, it might take guys half a season to be in great shape. Here's Gordon. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Tipped. And here's the fast break. Nash misses. Here's Matthews. Pass to Barton. Now Gordon. Six to shoot. A shot to stop the drought. That went off the back iron and out. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Here's Matthews. Pass to Carter. And there's the rejection. Here's Lee going inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Now here's Gordon. And here's Jokic. Pass to Matthews. Oh, the stuff! It's an even three-on-three -three break. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Barton, the pass to Jokic. And here's Barton. To the inside. His first shot coming late. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game to the paint. Here's Mr. Perfect, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home.
Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Carter finds Jokic. Now here's Barton. Pass to Gordon. Will it go? Deflected! Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Mr. Perfect gets the bucket. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Now Barton. Got a hand on it. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. The machine. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Now here's Jokic. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And another miss by Denver. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Whoa, Aaron Gordon. Looking like he's in a slam dunk contest right there. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. You've got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Horford outside. Changes up. Here's Drew. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Pass to Gordon. Unable to get that one. Horford with some nice D. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And now Horford just not as effective on the offensive end as he once was, but still continues to contribute. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. I have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Shoots from the right block, and Morris with the finish. And for Morford, he still puts up decent totals. Brent, the efficiency is what has faltered. Well, up there, he's going to start making plays and try to be a conduit for the offense, B.A., and coaches trust that decision-making and that experience. Here's Hayward, following the score by Denver. Pass to Drew. Shoots a fadeaway. It's rebounded by Morris. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Here's McCaw. Gordon with it. Pocket six. Shoots over Hayward. Gordon can't hit. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. 
It's been a theme here this quarter. Shot is good, Sampson. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And here's Denver. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Inside. Here's Green. Off target at the rim. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Yep, that one's good. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Morris against Hayward. Morris down low. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Here's Sampson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. 114 left in the first. And foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. Aaron Gordon. Shooting two. That one's off. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Pass to the machine. Counted from distance. He's got 11. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. The three. McCall no good. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Rivers has checked in for Campazzo. Forty-three seconds left in the first quarter. Morris passes to Gordon. Here's McCaw. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. They need this. And that one's long. It's been a challenging quarter for them, and his offensive inconsistency is a driving factor. Hayward with it. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Shot clock at six. Pass to the machine. From outside the arc. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. And that's it for the first quarter in what has been a very lopsided game. Delivering the blowout. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? 
Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. Here's Gordon. We've got Al Horford, and it's Hayward in at the two spot. Now here's Gordon. Back to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, how do I put this? Nikola Jokic, not the most chiseled physique. He said when he first made the NBA, there were no muscles. None. Now I have a couple, he said. To be honest, I like being a little bit heavier because guys are pushing me. I need that weight. It's funny, they say. Quote, he's not even in shape. I'm playing in 80 games, and they still say it. Brian? Ah, the joker indeed, Allie. Thanks for that. Pass to Morris. To the paint. Tipped away. Quarter number two. We're just over a minute of play. Horford outside. Here's Drew. Defended by Gordon. It's Hayward on the wing. Here's the machine. Five on the clock. And there's the call Al on Horford. Al Horford. That's his first foul. The Nuggets making a switch here. Jokic is checked in. And here are the Nuggets now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Here's Rivers. It's hauled in by Hayward. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Oh, Green with a block. Now Morris. Pass to Jokic. The kick out to Morris. Knocks it down from distance. Morris has got seven points. Yeah, you can't leave people open around Jokic, and the offense is set up to have cutters and movement. They'll take advantage of the defense if they sleep. Here's Garnett. Up and in on the layup. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Rivers. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. And it's rejected. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Lewis. Horford inside. That shot missing. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. Here's Garnett, guarded by Morris. Drew misses. You think about Jokic, maybe he goes down as one of the all-time greatest second-round picks, P.A., And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Pass to Lewis. Here's Garnett. Clock at six. And to Jokic's credit, he's made an incredible effort to improve his conditioning. Well, for a guy that jokes around about just being able to do one push-up in high school, he's come a long way. I mean, the guy is ultra-competitive and has the strength and mobility now to be out there and play big minutes. Here's Jokic. It's deflected. And that'll be Denver's ball as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets able to keep possession here. Matthews, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Carter comes in for Morris. Uh, green, green, green. 
Just three to shoot. Green, the pass to Carter. No good off the front rim. Here's Mr. Perfect. Green covering. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Carter, the pass to Green. Here's Rivers. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Jokic, no good. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Here's Nash. Here's Mr. Perfect. And he goes in for the dunk. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Launches a three. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. And here's Carter. Pass to Green. Here's Rivers. It's Jokic, high post. Shot clock at five. Rivers, shot is off. Here's Lee. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Lee's got 11 points. Lee's gone three of five so far from downtown. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Jokic. Ball stolen. Here's the break. From beyond the arc and then some. He's got 14. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Now here's Carter. Defense right on him. Pass to Matthews. Oh, they need this. You got a piece of it. Here's Lewis. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Jokic. It's good. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Back to Rivers. Pass to Matthews. Six to shoot. Now Carter. And it's Lee with the rebound. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Rivers. Pass to Matthews. To the middle. Now Green. And here's Jokic. Oh, and that miss makes him 0 for 4. Not a great start. Here's Mr. Perfect. Green covering. Lee on the wing. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got his fifth rebound in this one. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. Here's Mr. Perfect, covered by Jokic. Pass to Nash. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Here's Rivers. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. For the Nuggets, Gordon, he's checked in for Green. And Campazzo subbed in for Rivers. And so here is Denver. Pass to Matthews. Six on the shot clock. To 
win the run. Rebounded by Kleba. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Lee's got eight points in the quarter. Now he's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Back to Campazzo. Blocked! And it's out of bounds to the Nuggets as Denver retains possession. Barton, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Clock at six. Here's Gordon. It's tipped. Here's Speedy. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's pretty obvious right now the defense is not comfortable with Barton taking Whoa. those shots. He's remarkable at drawing fouls when he's on the floor. Shooting two. And he makes a first. 6'6", 175. That's one wily athlete. Will Barton tough to guard given his height and his speed. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Pass to Speedy. Let's go with a three. Connects from downtown. Ten points for him. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. It's Jokic, high post. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Campazzo. And it's Lee with the rebound. Gordon against Kleba. Pass to the machine. We've got a minute 48 left in the second quarter. Hits a three-pointer. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Here's Jokic. Carter with it. Pass to Gordon. Barton outside. Here's Campazzo. Tipped. And they recover it for three. Gordon. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. For the Nuggets. Najee comes in for Nikola Jokic. And it's Morris in for Carter. A minute 15 left in the first half of this game. Here's Sampson, guarded by Morris. Speedy. And it's Denver with a rebound. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Campazzo. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Here's Gordon. Oh, no good. Unable to win this run. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Morris outside. Pass to Najee. Barton left side. From 13, the rebound by the machine. Here's
always Mr. Perfect. It's good! It's good at the buzzer! Wow! Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Delivering the blowout. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm with Coach Mike Malone. Coach, how concerned are you by the lack of urgency and execution in the first half? Yeah, very concerning. You know, uh, our starters weren't ready to play. They jumped us, tried to go to our bench, get them in the game. They took us out of our offense. Uh, so we didn't really have any flow on either end of the floor. You have to get back to being you in that second half. Thanks, Coach Malone. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what was your impression? They're just pulling down rebounds at will. Their aggressiveness has been dynamite, flying in from all angles. With rebounding, you assume that everything is amiss, and obviously, they've taken that to heart. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Well, with the way they struggled to defend the three-point line, it's not to look like a warm-up period. Do not be afraid to bring more defenders out high. They gotta make life tougher on those outside shooters. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Down low, it's Gordon and Jokic. Then there's Will Barton, and it's Carter in at the point. That's the five to begin the second half of Michael Malone. Barton outside. Five to shoot. Shot is up. Offline from the top of the key. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. And so here is Denver. Here's Matthews. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Got a hand on it. And they're on the break. Here's Lee. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Their defense is getting run off the floor right now. Pass to Gordon. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. And they pick up two. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Here's Speedy. Puts up a three. The rebound by Matthews. Barton outside. Pass to Matthews. Gordon, left side. In transition, here they come. Mr. Perfect shot is off. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. Gordon on the wing. Pass to Matthews. Three-pointer off the mark. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass, and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Carter with it. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Nash. Defended by Gordon. Pass to Nash. Here's the machine. Just five on the clock. Kept alive. Mr. Perfect. 
And it's flushed down. A nice jam. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Now here's Carter. Deflected! Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. The machine, his shot is good. No hesitation on the break. That's been an advantage for them. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. To the inside. It's intercepted! Here's Nash, defended by Gordon. Lee misses. And so here is Denver. Carter finds Barton. Into the lane. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter and it stifled him. Jeff Green. Patrick McCall. Austin Rivers. Six to shoot. Green, the pass to Jokic. From 13, it's deflected. And they'll keep possession. Green's gone one for three on the night. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Pass to Rivers. It's Jokic, high post. Here's Rivers. Green, the pass to Carter. Here's McCaw. Shot to end the cold streak. And again, Denver no good. Here's Mr. Perfect. Trains the triple. Give him 20. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Here's McCaw. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Stepped on the line. Out of bounds there. And that will cost him a possession. Here's the machine. He's got 19. Oh, it's his 10th basket on 12 tries. You got to appreciate the efficiency here. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Here's McCaw. Oh, ripped away. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Nash over green. And the basket by Nash. And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. I mean, he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Now here's Carter. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. Morris, he's checked in for Carter. Pass to Rivers. Now Jokic. Down low. Green with the ball. Four on the clock. 
Here's Morris. And another miss by Denver. Here's Mr. Perfect, guarded by Morris. Here's Lewis. Here's Lee. And he converts the layup. Lee's got 22 points. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Pass to Jokic. Yeah, that one's good. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. Here's Garnett, guarded by Morris. Three-pointer. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Lee's gone 50% from outside. He's 5 of 10 now. Morris, left side. Jokic. And it's good for two. Jokic has got four points this quarter. Jokic and body control. Hey, years ago, we wouldn't have said that. I'm saying it now. Well, a high-level floor general is what you get in Monte Morris, who's out there creating and not turning it over. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Now Jokic. Back to Rivers. Who poked away. Pass to Green. Here's Rivers. Here's Lewis. Here's Garnett, guarded by Morris. Garnett, that's good. He has seven. You know, you talk to the coaching staff here. They rave about Morris's high basketball IQ. Well, any time that coaches can put a guy in to slow down or speed up the offense and know that he's not going to just hand the ball to the other team, that's a luxury. And so the ball out of bounds. Morris touched it last. Naji, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Campazzo comes in for Rivers. The visitors with the ball. Their defense is only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Garnett. And the basket by Drew. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. We look at all the turnovers. Boy, what a way to drive your coach crazy. Yeah, your game plan means nothing if your players can't execute. Green for three. The shot that time not on target. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Hayward outside. Unloads from 13. Drew misses. And here's Denver. To the middle. Here's Najee. Drew with a rebound. Now here's Hayward. Defense is right there. Pass to Garnett. Hayward outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot. Denver grabs the miss. Morris on the wing. And again, Denver no good. And here is Hayward. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Pass to Horford. Back to Hayward. Good, and it's Horford who picks up the assist. Hayward's got his second basket. They have no answer defensively inside. Here's Campazzo. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To the paint. Here's Green. No good. And they can't put it into the drought. Green's gone just one of five from the floor. Here's Garnett. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Nine points in the game. Their offense is really humming right now. And it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Pass to Campazzo. Here's McCaw. 
Horace outside. Three-pointer, no good. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Here's Garnett. And Campazzo pulls it down. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Morris. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. A bit shocking that he has not registered one made field goal in the quarter, guys. Inside. Pass to Campazzo. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Delivering the blowout. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Al Horford, and it's Mr. Perfect in at the four. Pass to the machine. It's stolen. To the inside. Drops in the layup for two. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. Down low. Here's Nash. He got a piece of it. Here's Campazzo. Well, the G League is testing out the one foul shot approach. Oh, Meanwhile, oh, oh, oh. the NBA is running commercials between free throws. Brent, do you think the parent league will ever adopt the G League's approach? I don't think so, B.A. I think it's going to stay the way it is where you're two free throws at the line and, and not doing what the G League is doing with the one attempt. But uh, that might be all for speeding up the game. But we still got to get your ad reads in, right? Pass to Hayward. Here's the teardrop. Doesn't go that time. And Denver the other way now. Here's Campazzo. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Bowl. Hayward with a steal. Out left to the wing. Pass to Speedy. Fires the three. To the paint. Here's Nash, and he jams it home oh, with authority. Boy. Such a solid and unique big man in today's game. Horford's passing skills and ability to find the open teammate is very special. Here's Najee. Here's McCaw. Just five to shoot. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. A nice shot by Speedy. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. Pass to Bowl. Here's McCaw. The Nuggets need to get one up. From deep, Barton. And another miss by Denver. 
you kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there, and of course that one was just crazy. Here's the machine. Fires in the triple. He's got 22. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Shot to stop the run. He can't get that one to fall. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Great work to clear some space around the rim and set himself up for that putback. Yes, sir. That was a huge follow. Here's Barton. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Smart play there from Barton to establish himself on the inside to convert. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Here's Speedy. Takes the three. Gets the three to fall. Is it possible his sweet touch is getting sweeter, guys? And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Pass to Bowl. Here's the three. And it's Lee with the rebound. Lee's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Speedy. He's feeling it. And he hits the jumper. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Well, Brad, you won two championships with the Spurs. When you look at the roster now, what are you seeing? Well, the pillars are gone from those championship seasons, but the coach and the voice remains. So that's a Spurs team that's young, has a lot of guys who need to grow, but they have the type of DNA that you're looking for, being competitive and wanting to push their limits. So in the next few years, maybe the Spurs will find a way to get deep into the playoffs and have an opportunity to compete. First one falls for him. The Nuggets making a switch here. Rivers is checked in. And he makes both free throws. Here's Lee. To the middle. Oh, they get a hand on it. And here comes the break. Here's Nash. And they'll get another chance. Big offensive board. They can milk that clock even more now. They're holding a big advantage in second chance points. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained in prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. Out to the right wing. Five to shoot. Oh, he's way off from outside. And out of bounds, the Nuggets will take it. It's hauled in by Nash. Back to Rivers. Pass to Bowl. Here's McCaw. Oh, he couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Here's Speedy. Drives to the hoop. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. 
That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? Well, write this down, B.A. So my mom is from New Orleans, so I know New Orleans very well. And so New Orleans was my favorite city, no question. The food there, oh, I'm getting full just thinking about it. <laughs> Here's McCaw. Pass to Rivers. Just five on the clock. To end the drought. And that one comes up a bit short. There's the three. Here's Lee. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. Lee's got 11 points here in the second half. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Pass to Bowl from the arc. Doesn't go for him. Here's the machine. And that one's drained from the low block. He's got 24. And so far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Rivers, good. Rivers. That's what you get with a bigger guard, a guy that can carve out a little bit more space, and Rivers does a good job that time. Here's Lee. Let's it go from the wing. That one goes. Count it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. And here's Denver. Here's Rivers. And as restrictions are lifted, fans able to reconnect to the game. But also the players able to connect with one another. Brett, how important do you think that is for chemistry and team bond? Well, I think it's huge. You know, looking back, the relationships that you build, those mean so much more and last so much longer than the years that you're a competitor, B.A. So for the players getting past all that isolation and being back into some kind of familiarity, it's such a huge relief. Here's Bowl, and it's blocked. Here's Lee. Beyond the arc. And out of bounds. Denver will have it. Here's Rivers. Pass to Bowl. There's the triple. That shot off. Here's Speedy. Fires the three. Drops in the three. Well, he's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. To halt the run. And Mr. Perfect pulls it down. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Here's Rivers. And Grant, you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach. How has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. Baseline try. The shot misses. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. And the basket by Nash. Boy, it's been a minute since they last scored. It has been. And at what point do you alter your strategy? Try to get back on track. Pass to Bowl from deep. Can't get it to drop. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just 
got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass, set up the alley-oop flush. Here's Rivers. Pass to Najee. Picked it! Here's Lee. Here's Speedy. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. And their biggest problem so far, taking care of the ball. Yeah, they made some great plays, but way too many turnovers. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And the lamp is good off the glass. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. And so the road team gets the W in this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.